Welcome back to the emergency intercom. Whoa, I made it, guys. The emergency intercom, Drew's 18th birthday extravaganza. <laughs> How are you feeling now that you're 18? Forever 17, baby. I started in OnlyFans. Um, That's like, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but you should maybe take some more time to think about that. Absolutely not. I'm already making 50 grand a month. But nothing's changed about your brain chemistry from yesterday to today. So maybe you let yourself develop a little more mentally and then you can decide if that's something you want. That sounds like you're broke and jealous of my 50 grand a month for the rest of my life. Okay, 50 grand a month on OnlyFans. Um, Hello, have you heard what the other girls make? Like you're fucking behind. Actually, let me check it right now. Oh, it's it up to 300000 a month. You didn't month. even open an app. Damn. You picked up your phone. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, I almost made a million in a day, too, off of tips and shit, so. Wait, but then how did you get 300000 a month? That's, like, not close to a million. It's subscribers, so that's oh, okay, every month. Okay. But I'll probably make closer to $2 million a month just based off of, like, sending people butthole pics privately because it's all bikini photos. Okay. Up front, yeah, just... Need to clear it's you that in up. a bikini or are you in like a speedo? Bikini. Okay. <laughs> what are you covering your nipples <laughs> for? Because uh, it's really sad that women can't show their nipples. So oh, so you're I'm actually taking being a stance. Like, very patriotic and feminist bound. Yeah, I'm taking a stance and covering myself um, as like, you know what I'm saying. You, you, get, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I'm trying to understand. I cover my body because the woman can't free theirs. I'm a big proponent of free the nipple. We know this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we know this. I talk about it all the time. Yeah. Um, right. But yeah, it was my 18th birthday. Or what? I literally am going to actually forget how old I am and just start. I'm, okay, whatever. It was my birthday yesterday. Um, and I did not want to do absolutely fucking anything um, because growing older is horrifying and scary. And I don't think we should celebrate getting one year closer to death. Okay. Um, and what would we celebrate? Like otherwise? nothing. No one needs a birthday. It's all phony. Yeah, I guess it is like kind of capitalistic when you think about it. Um, it's so that restaurants can get a ten-person table and then everybody can argue over who's going to take the. 10. Yeah. Exactly. Did you see that whole conversation online? Mm-mm. People were saying, which I kind of agree with. People were saying that if, say, it's my birthday and I invited all of you guys to a really expensive restaurant. You should cover it. I should cover yeah. it because I'm choosing, like, this expensive restaurant. So to assume all my friends can cover their tab would be kind of ridiculous. I agree with that up until you have a homegirl who's, like, getting fucked up. Like, don't come <laughs> to my birthday drinks. dinner and get, like, 18 margaritas and a fucking espresso martini to top it off. Me. And then be, like, <laughs> literally guys, the homegirl in question. And then I have to pay for it. But I, I feel like we've always done that because we're just like good people. We yeah. will like cover the we tab. We cover the bill. Because we're just like, we're good. And we're like so giving and nice. And people don't th- talk about that. Mm-hmm. And we always write our usernames on the receipt after giving a hefty Give tip. Give us a follow. Because like, you should post. <laughs> yeah, post us and tag us. <laughs> Give us a follow. Um, but yeah, it was my birthday yesterday. And I was left here alone. Um, all of my friends left me. I um, the you know what I got for my birthday? <laughs> Do you want to know what I got? I got a eight dollar Fortnite card. Not even a- enough to cover a fucking skin, <laughs> but they covered it by getting me a twenty five dollar Wingstop card. Hey! I don't know. You get to eat good tonight. Yeah. So Wingstop on me. It's literally just gonna cover my meal. <laughs> um, but. Yeah, that was the only gift I got. And I was so excited because I was like, oh, Inya's such a good gift giver. I know she's going to get me something so good. Right, right. She didn't get me shit. You may find that when every day waking up is hard, a gift is the last thing on my mind. But I gave you the gift of my presents. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. We did have a really, really great day yesterday. But no, I'm just kidding. She did. I treated um, my man me. to a gorgeous day full of candy and treats. <laughs> I know. I, she took me to a Thai market and we got a bunch of Thai little treats and candies. And, and I got to turn to him and go, it's on me. Yeah, it was on Inya. Wild out. It was all on Inya. Um, and then um, <laughs> Inya had the great idea. Okay, so I have been obsessed with this specific food item for months now. Haven't done anything about it. Inya had the idea to make it. Guys, guess what we went and made gourmet for dinner last night? 
jacket potatoes with tuna salad on top. <laughs> you know what that is, guys? Mm -mm. Dude, you got please. a picture of it. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll it's insert gonna really it. Really gross you out. It is um a baked potato with a crispy skin. Um, three pounds of butter. Uh. Orange and white cheese. I know it's cheddar and white cheddar cheese, but they call it oh, orange looks... and white. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They call it orange and white cheese. That looks so good. Um, and then you put British baked beans on top of that. And then on top of that, you put tuna salad. And I know, y'all, it sounds horrifying, but Inya can vouch for me. It was I hate that it was so good. That looks good. good. It was so It was so really good. yummy. Like, I was expecting when we... Okay, so... We like had a whole day. We went to the Thai market. Then I'm the kind of girl who I need my coffee. Mm -hmm. So we stopped for me to get a coffee and I got like a little hand roll next door so I could like have something to eat because it was like 5 p.m. and I hadn't eaten. And I was like, the last thing I need to do is wait till 8 p.m. And the first thing that goes in my body is a jacket potato because it's going to make me throw up. Jackie. So I already like had a little food, but I wasn't fully full. When we were at the grocery store getting all the ingredients, I literally, Drew was looking up the cheeses and looking at pictures, and I couldn't stop myself from physically gagging like at the Like, fully pictures. shudder, like, I, body shudder. I, like, couldn't stop. Her body took a fucking <laughs> screenshot, y'all. Like, it was crazy. <laughs> like, I was staring at his phone and thinking about what I was about to do to my body, and I couldn't fucking believe it because I pride myself so much in being, like, a relatively, like, good consumer of food. Like, I eat good food. I eat delicious, yummy food. And that sounds like a hydrogen bomb and a plate. Mm. And it did smell, what did I, oh, <laughs> it smelled like tonsil stone. And like we, okay, so I've been doing this thing. Um, I've been recording a bunch of videos. They may never see the light of day, but it's me um, eating my bedtime double meals and I eat it in my bed every night. And it's like this little series that I'm working on. And we ate it in my room and we left to like take out the garbage and wash the dishes and shit. And when I came back into my room, y'all, like the, the stench, stench, the, the odor, stench like it was strange. really, really It was like scary. heavy in there. Yeah. It was so weird. It stained my bed, like not like physically stained it, like the scent stained my comforter, like, ooh, like absolutely not. But it was so fucking good, y'all. Yeah, it, it was, was so delicious. Good. I will say each of us only had half the potato. So if at home you're thinking of making a jacket potato... One potato does serve two because you'd be shocked how full of beans and tuna you get. <laughs> <laughs> beans, tuna, potato, and cheese you get. Butter. Like, it's a lot of butter. <laughs> it's a lot of fucking butter. And we got a nice-ass butter, which was cracking us up because we asked Sydney Carlson. Like, if you don't know, she's, like, sexy hot girl, makes amazing food. Um, and she always does these, like, very cute videos. And I want so badly to convince her to do a video of her making a jacket potato. <laughs> like, her just serving cunt and, like, her little, like, ting, ting. And then the ingredients list goes up and it's literally potato, tuna salad, baked beans, cheese. Like, I need her to make it so badly. But we asked her what a good butter was because for some reason we were, like, we're going to get, like, the finest ingredients for our jacket we're potato. We're going to it up. Like, we're going to make it fancy pants. And she sent it to us. And then like four hours later, we didn't tell her what we were making. We never told her why we needed the butter. And we just sent her a picture. And she was like, oh, my fucking God. That looks like That's something a British person. Yeah, at first, all she said was, oh, my God. That is all she said. <laughs> I don't think she ever responded back to your text. Oh, yeah. Text. she uh, No, because she had mentioned she was like, I'm obsessed with this British girl on uh, TikTok. Okay. And it looks like something she would fucking eat. And we were like, it literally is a British person food. Like, yeah. this is British people food. And she never responded. Y'all something really bad happened to me like actually actually oh really God. bad like okay we, we, we so, should like insert the audio that we recorded the other night yeah 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 um but anyways i got i've, I've had like ear pain and like my ear has been clogging for like a year and a half now and I literally just like thought it was benign and I was just like, whatever, it is not that deep. I've probably complained about it on here a couple times, but I was like, it's literally not that deep. Like it's not like altering my life. But then like I started like falling asleep at night and like my ear would like hurt really fucking bad. And I was cool. I was like, cool. I have like an ear infection. So I started looking some shit up, um, which you never fucking do. And I looked up like why my ear was like going in and out of like clogged mode. Um, and like four different people were like, oh, I had like a tumor in my brain next to my ear and it would like 
uh, it would physically block my like ear canal. And I was like, okay, cool. I have a tumor. Like this is fucked up. And so turning the age that I'm turning, I get kicked off of my parents' insurance. So I was like, oh, I'm going to like book this appointment really quick. Just get this over with. It's going to be nothing. Like it's not that fucking deep. Like whatever, like I'll get on my own insurance and I, I won't have to go to the doctor ever again. So I'm just like doing a little tune up before I go to my doctor uh, or before I turn the age that I'm turning. Y'all will never know. Y'all will never know. Um, know. Me when you can Google your name and like yeah. that's the first thing that pops up. It's a lie though. It's a lie. Yeah. You're in your Alexa Demi bag. Exactly. Exactly. Um, but I went and I was not thinking anything of it. Like I went to the office for the ear, nose and throat, throat goat doctor. Um, they... No have sex with you there it's really fucked up um how fast can you get an appointment you can book on zocdoc almost immediately babe. <laughs> no i literally booked it that night and then i woke up the next day and went it was like the tea um but i went there and the doctor's office was like young and hip and they were a vibe and they were all like talking to me like how i speak and it was just like it was a fucking vibe in there like it was it was a key and then like my gay ass doctor my gay ass like nurse assistant or whatever came out and he was super gay and a vibe his <laughs> name was andrew too and we were just like having a key it was like it was literally so fun that's like um, remember recently when i was saying how it freaks me out now that all the doctors and nurses are our age yeah and that just freaks me out because i'm like you're literally a peer who i'm supposed to meet at a bar now i'm letting you poke my fucking stomach like yeah. i'm literally terrified it's of scary you. as fuck um so he and like, i know me- you cheated and I know you. Yeah, no, those I know y'all bitches were using fucking Google and what was the notes app or the notes cards? Um, Good notes, good reads, some shit yeah. like that. It's not that. They were using chat GBT. No, no, no. There's those. It's like flashcards that like have the answer to every single test question. Is and, it like virtual? Yeah, it's on Google. Oh. Uh, but whatever. See, Someone I never cheated, there. so I wouldn't know. Yeah. Okay. But in reality, I actually never have studied once in my life. And I thought about the other day and I don't even know how I would begin to study. And I don't understand studying and it doesn't make sense to me. But keep going. <laughs> um, but... Um, my gay doctor, we're just like having a vibe. And then, um, he sits me down in this fucking chair that literally looks like it's going to like kill me and it's going to like squish me and use all my juices. I don't fucking know. Um, and he's like, oh, we're just going to do a CT scan of your head. Um, and I'm like, okay, like you're gay. Like, can you do that? (laughs) Like, I don't know if you're allowed to do that. I'm kidding y'all. Um, but no, it was, it was a vibe. Like we were just like shooting the shit. Like while this fucking robot was scanning my brain um and then there was like another gay like uh ct scan technician and they were like having like a gay conversation like across the like metal barrier it was super chill it was like a very lax environment and i was like oh i like feel really comfortable in here um and then my ct scan pulls up on this big ass screen in front of them and they literally gay gasped they were like (gasps) and i was like (laughs) like what guys and they were like come here and i was like what and they like pointed to this side of my face and like there was like in my sinuses, there was a black one and a gray one. And they were like, are you sure you don't feel any pain in your sinuses? And I was like, no, I don't feel anything at all. Like, what are you talking about? And they were like, are you sure? Because we haven't seen this like ever, like your entire right side of your face is like full of blood, pus, mucus, inflammation. And I've just been existing with that for years, for God knows how long. Um, And uh, they were like, are you sure you don't feel anything? And I was like, no, I don't. So then they were like, okay, well, we'll put you in your room, whatever. And I went there for my ear and now I'm freaking out about my sinuses. They didn't say shit about my ear. While well, I like sit down in this chair, um, the doctor, doctor comes in there and she's really scary and like about her shit. And I was like, okay, like chill as fuck. Well, then she takes this long fucking rod this long with a camera on the end of it and shoves it into my ear and i started having a panic attack i literally did not know i was scared of things going inside of my face and i don't think anybody just expects that no, but bitch to- i don't <laughs> suck dick i don't suck dick like stop <laughs> i knew you were going there um but i like the, this like Daddy. long rod is like all the way in my fucking brain and it hurts so bad y'all like and there's little pinchers on the end and she's like pinching around in there and i'm like 
what the fuck is going on? And I start like kind of like having an anxiety attack low key. And I like have to tell her to stop a bunch of times and then like she'll stop. And then I'm like, maybe like it just feels like it's too big. <laughs> like it's hurting the walls of my ear, like stop. <laughs> and then she's like, okay, let's try something else. And then she puts the exact same fucking tool in my brain and it like hurts. And then I start freaking out because I'm like, oh, she's like the sounds. Girl, it was she's making, trying to hit the reset button. On no, the brain. literally, that's literally what it felt like. The sounds it was making inside of my head, like I've never experienced anything like it in my life. And at one point I literally started laughing out loud because it was like, it was funny sounds. And she was like, why are you laughing? And then she was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. Um, but she was like not fucking with my vibe after that because I told her she was hurting me and she got pissed at me. Um, literally sounds like, never mind. Um, anyways, uh, she like, proceeds to like look at the screen and I could see her like face turn a different color and I was like oh my god here we go again like this is not great this is not the vibe and anyways she proceeds to pull out a earplug size like you know the orange earplugs that you put in your ears it was an egg sack of fucking spiders that was just in my You're ear. So no, I'm, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. It was like a plug of earwax that she was like in well, we're blood. Yeah, Drew's just dirty boots. No, 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 no. No, it was because of my sinuses that it was like draining into my ear and it was like blood and earwax. And it was so fucking painful coming out like and then when i saw it i was like oh my god did you I was get a like, photo no i didn't i asked Are her you to serious? Take, i asked her to take photos and she was like no we don't let we don't let you do that in here and i was like your technicians just let me take a picture of my ct scan so like i'm confused because well, like, you were keen with them and she doesn't like i know she did not fuck with my energy but anyways she pulled that shit out of my ear I swear to God, I thought she damaged my eardrum because like, you know, when they say like smelling colors, like I was hearing frequencies out of this ear that I've never heard in my life. And I was so sensitive and like, I really thought I she punctured my, ear. my eardrum. Dude, it, this ear now feels like dirty. Like it feels gross. And she looked at it and she was like, it's all fine. This one is like, it, it's still like I can like when I like tap shit like I can hear the frequencies that I've never heard before like it it was really actually scaring me for like two days but it's back to normal da now and then she got to my sinuses and it turns out that um, the last day I went to the doctor before I had to switch over to my new insurance um, I have to get surgery so on my sinuses so I'm done I'm done it's over for me you have to get surgery actually yeah fuck they go up in my nose and inflate balloons in all of my air passageway and like break the cartilage because that's why it's like fucked up is because like I have like really really tiny I'm my my sinuses are so petite and yeah, small you're such a tiny girl. I'm so oh. tiny um but my air passageways are really small so I have to go in and like inflate them with the balloon and break the cartilage and I'm gonna be like bleeding out of my nose for four days like it's hell. And they were like, don't blow your nose. Like, you're going to want to blow your nose. And I was like, bitch, I don't blow my nose now. Like, what are you talking about? And she was like, that's why your sinuses are fucked up. Um, and she, I was gagged. I was literally gagged. But she was like, you're going to want to blow your nose, but don't do it. And now I have, like, this strict, I have to go pick up, like, st oh, bit, bitch, I get fucking perks, though. So it's about to be a vibe. Oh, we're we're fine. <laughs> it's going to be a vibe. I'm going to get fucked up um i'm gonna take two at once and have a fucking key but long story short um after i realized that that is the office that is gonna be doing my surgery at first i was like oh this is a vibe like this is fun but then when i found out that they're gonna be doing my surgery i was like oh i'm gonna get a second opinion i'm gonna <laughs> go to another doctor um and see what the vibe is see my problem growing up so removed from healthcare and doctor visits is that i don't believe that in my head i'm like do a neti pot you'll be fine keep it pushing Literally. like i just can't comprehend actually getting a surgery that um, like it's it's a medical necessity but i'd be fine like I'll, i have like bacteria and shit in my sinuses and i'm sure i could drain it out somehow and not have to like literally have like a little procedure done but the problem is is it would just be persistent because my airways are so small and so it would just happen again after i got sick do you think it's just gonna happen again oh no because they're gonna like bust your walls open yeah yeah that's the the surgery is balloons in my brain i would have assumed you've already had your walls busted oh a hundred times <laughs> over babe a hundred times over um, 
that's a good leeway into well we have to play the audio clip because i was talking to drew about the surgery also it doesn't help that drew like everybody knows how i feel about drew and his sicknesses and talking about being sick i literally can't take it serious i had a meter when we first met that i was like oh my god is he okay now when he talks about having any illness i literally feel like i'm battling like my real life legion like my pathological liar i just can't tell and i should put a tracker on your car so when you say you go to the doctor i can see if you're actually going to the doctor i have all of the notes all of that (laughs) um i believe that you're getting surgery but i just can't take it serious because also you like (laughs) you love it so much oh bitch i love it so much like when i i was pissed for like a few days because i was like of course the one time that i get surgery like i'm gonna have to pay for it out of pocket and my insurance isn't gonna cover it because because I don't have fucking insurance, but um, I'm back to being excited because I found out that I'm covered to the end of the month. So we're gonna squeeze me in and I'm gonna be fucked up. I'm gonna be like little baby, like high on perks and like all like cozy and people are gonna have to be like taking care of me and like picking me up from places and dropping me off. It's gonna be a vibe. (laughs) It was Josiah, did we get it in the audio message? In the audio recording we got the other night? What? Uh, when you were like, yeah, who's going to pick me up and, and drop me know. off? And I was like, nose goes, nose goes, nose goes. <laughs> um, and Josie said he'd do it, but I'll probably do it because it only makes sense. My mom was like, I'll fly out there. And then she called me the next day and was like, actually, like thinking about driving. Like, I'll Uber you to the place <laughs> back and forth, but I'm not driving in LA. scared to drive here? Yeah. I'll drive you and then you'll be so high that I'm going to whip the piss out of the car and you're going to be like shaking <laughs> The around. balloons are going to fly out of my nose. I'm, I'm going to like Wait, they don't, do all my They don't my stay errands. in your nose, right? Yeah, they like disintegrate, disintegrate really? in there. Yeah. What Ew. The fuck? Yeah. That and is they so actually, I, I don't know because they were like, you have like a post-op in like four weeks. So maybe they go up in there and take them out or some shit. Like, I don't fucking know. That is so disgusting. Well, if you can't do the podcast, I got to find someone to fucking replace yeah. it. No, I'll be able to do the podcast. I'm only like down for three days. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'm going to be bleeding for like a week. Ew. So I'm going to have a bloody nose on the podcast and everybody's going to be like, oh my God, Drew, are you okay? Like, Well, that's gross. And when I take you to the surgery, I'm not going to come directly home. I'm going to run all my errands and leave you in the <laughs> car perked out. <laughs> Wait, they did surgery on a Drew. <laughs> ew, ew, Kai. <laughs> they did surgery on a Drew. Should we talk about... um? the like my scary thought process when we were watching rupaul the other night yeah <laughs> uh, i got home from hanging out with friends and drew and josie were like six episodes into rupaul and they were trying to catch me up but i got really high really fast and i had kind of mentioned it to them but i don't like being like guys i'm about to be really high like please be careful because they will not be careful they will try to scare nightmare, me further nightmare, nightmare. um And we were sitting there watching and we were all joking about like certain things. But then in my head, I don't know what it was. Oh, Josie made a joke because I like had said something. I was like, okay, to something someone did. Like, I didn't think it was good on the show. And Josie made the joke and he was like, see, that's why we waited for you to leave the house to watch this. Because then we could be safe watching it without you. Like, (laughs) we have a safe space without you. And then I was so high. I got so deep into my psyche. I was like, oh my God, what if my friends actually genuinely believe I'm homophobic? And like, there's this like ongoing conversation behind my back that I'm homophobic. And I got so scared. And then I don't know if you noticed, I was like dead silent for like like five minutes minutes until y'all started joking again. Cause I was like, oh my God, maybe I am like disrupting their peace. Like I am literally a problem. Like, I mean, it wouldn't be a problem for me, like personally, like- uh, you can be whatever, like, you can be homophobic. Like, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't even Wait, affect me. why wouldn't that me. bother you? Like, I feel like that would bother anybody. Like Not me. Like... Absolutely not. Oh, is it because you're straight, so you don't care? <laughs> yeah. I think even if you're straight, though, that should kind the of The Rainbow me. Mafia. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it was really funny. And then they were showing me. It was actually greening me out. Like, I love that show. But every time we all have the same feeling, when they do the musicals and stuff, it really freaks me out because I'm just like, Oh my God, it is someone's full-time job to make a rusical. Like they are on salary to make and produce the rusicals that RuPaul does. And they did like an SNL skit and there was this one girl who I don't know her name. She was freaking me out. Like what is her name? I don't know her we name We have to insert either. the clip that we were like laughing so hard at. It'll be like an untug that never ends. Okay, we're done. Bye girl. Two. <laughs> And now, 
Is it the? It's not the one of her riding the house in the water. It's the one of her in the office. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah. There's. And she goes toodaloo. Or that, <laughs> toodaloo. It was freaking me out and making me so. Lindsey sad. Graham. She did Lindsey Graham. Oh, but yeah, she yeah. didn't know who Lindsey <laughs> Graham was, so she just like did this whole fucking bit. That she like sucked. interpreted it as like she yeah. read it. Yeah. Um, and it makes me so sad because I really feel like to be good at Drag Race, you have to be everything you have to be funny you have to be crafty you have to be witty you have to be quick you have to be like super like ready to like snap back at somebody you just have to be so well-rounded in every course and some people just don't don't have hit that it. mark and like and which is understandable because it's asking a lot of a yeah. fucking entertainer mm -hmm. um like i couldn't be able to do it i would no, you wouldn't, no, babe. Wouldn't. You wouldn't. Josie you could. would start fighting. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, if Josiah started doing drag five years ago, he would be an all star on Drag Race yeah. already. Like, he really is like so good at that type of shit. Like, uh, but yeah, that was my story. Is I got really scared, and then I told Drew the next day, and he just laughed at me. He's yeah. like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" And I was like, "No, I literally was so scared for like five <laughs> minutes. Like, I was." so deeply in my head and then i just started thinking about who i was as a person and if you guys actually like me and like if you ever had a problem with me would you be like willing to tell me about it or would you just let me continue which so, i i know y'all would tell me if you actually had a problem with me but it was really scary no i wouldn't you've made an environment where if i <laughs> say something to you and speak up i can't i get hit um she hits me um no uh that's so funny that you mentioned that because i had a dream I think I told you this morning or last night at 1 a.m. because I accidentally fell asleep at 9.30 and then woke up at 1.30. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, but in that time frame, I had a dream about Trixie Mattel. And like it, it was Ricky Montgomery, like the singer, um, like was shooting a music video in this van. Um, and he invited us over and we went over and we were just like chatting. And then Trixie Mattel and Katia Zoma Lochikova, I can't say her last name, Zoma Lochikova, um, came out like into the front door and they were like, uh, get out here, you marketable motherfucker. I have it written down because like, what does that mean? <laughs> and then we went out there and took pictures with fans and then I woke up. Um, and you said that I stayed in the van. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just me out there with Trixie. So you had a bunch of pictures with Trixie <laughs> yeah, and fans. Yeah, so it was really, really an insane dream. Really an insane dream, y'all. Yeah, it doesn't sound that insane when you put it into like that perspective. I had a scary dream, but I don't remember it. But I know that when you tried to wake me up the first time, I woke up from it and then I knocked back out. Mm. I have been sleeping till 3 p.m. every day. No, I, the latest it goes is like one, but I haven't woken up at one in a while. You and Orion did sleep till two and it was uh, the night after something scary happened. And I really thought the Idaho Four massacre happened in our house and that Orion and Inya were murdered in her bedroom and that I was just existing in this house until two. And then I went to knock on her door and I was like imagining them like <laughs> bloody and battered and bruised. And I was like, cool, like I have to call the cops now and they're gonna think I fucking did this shit. And I didn't fucking do this no, shit. No, it was actually because we stayed up so fucking late watching Love is Blind and we then we, we stayed up late watching Love is Blind. Then we got in bed. And we watched TikToks and we only went to sleep when we did because the sun was fully up. So crazy. And we were scared of the sun, like keeping us up longer. So we were like, turn off your phone, turn off your phone, just go to sleep. Like, just turn it off because we're like going to keep looking at it. Turn it off. And we both like turned off our phone and like turned over into like the pillow <laughs> so that we could like go to sleep. Aww. And it was fun. It was a very fun night. Such an amazing vibe. Amazing vibes all around. Did y'all finger each other? Sorry. No, not that night. We were too tired. And you slept in my bed. Oh, I literally did. And did we finger each other or what? <laughs> yeah. yeah Dude, Drew falls asleep instantly. Drew it's isn't a fun a sleepover vibe. vibe. Because he just knocks vibe. out. Like we got in bed and we were trying to figure out what to watch. He was like, honestly, just put anything on because I'm going to fall asleep. And he did. He Like two seconds later, he fell asleep. I it's, that that's what you did up. last night too. Last night we were sitting on his bed after eating the jacket potatoes. And he was like, damn, maybe that's my new food because it's not even knocking me out. And then he laid on the bed and we were watching something and he knocked out 10 minutes in. <laughs> it was fucked up. It's fucked up I, that's another doctor appointment i need to schedule is to find out why i fall asleep after i eat also i came to the conclusion remember how drew used to say our old couch had black mold 
It, it never had fucking black mold. It was the start of Drew's weird fucking thing where he eats and knocks out and he would eat diabetes. and then go, yeah, he would eat and then go lay on the couch and knock out. And he was the only one experiencing that. But he'd be like, guys, something so weird happens when I put my face in this couch. And he would always lay down and be like, watch in like 10 minutes, I'm going to be asleep. And he would be asleep. But it was after he fucking ate food. He would like <laughs> lay on the couch and knock out. Crazy fucking vibe, bro. Well, what's going to happen if you do go to the doctor and you actually do have prediabetes and you have to change your eating habits? Change my eating habits. Will you? No. <laughs> I'll eat what I eat until my fucking feet fall off, bitch. <laughs> like, I'll be walking around with stubby fucking legs if I have to give up Takis because I'm not giving up Takis. <laughs> you are so annoying. <laughs> if they say give up Red 40 or take, we'll take your feet, I'll let them have my feet. <laughs> Just take my feet now. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I guess who would you be without your nighttime concoctions? I don't know. Like, if you would yeah. lose yourself. You're having the same thing. People have been like, uh, who would I be? Like, I would lose all my spark if I took an SSRI. That's you with your food. You're <laughs> yeah. Like, I would lose all my spark if I wasn't literally feeding my gut the most diabolical thing. That's the thing is my microbiome controls my brain. Um, so I have like a very eclectic, weird microbiome in my gut. And that's a weird way to describe a really unhealthy microbiome. I have an eclectic <laughs> microbiome. You're thinking like there's like trinkets and charms in your stomach. No, it's literally like red 40 corn syrup and acid. Every time I eat, I kill them. <laughs> <laughs> you kill all the healthy yeah. bacteria in your gut. Every time I no, eat. No, but it w like once a month, you'll have a green juice. Yeah. Yeah. I've been good about eating green. I really have been. And don't even sit there in front like I haven't. You had a single... I saw you eat a salad for the first time. I ate a salad. Months. I ate broccoli you, okay, you ate and a broccoli salad, but on the side, it was Dave's hot chicken sandwich, <laughs> macaroni. He had a Reese's Take 5, Smarties, peanut M&Ms, and then some <laughs> other random shit in there. Oh, no, and a KFC chicken cheese pizza which is a kfc chicken thigh with it's like a fake fucking parmesan like chicken. yeah it's a cheese so he ate all of that with the salad on the side and that mind you that no, salad he okay. drenched in ranch listen listen there's a yin and a yang a give and a take and i have to balance the good with the evil because <laughs> if i'm just eating good things for me i'm gonna be sad i have to experience the bad to be happy Oi! <laughs> Damn, I ate. Holy shit. No, don't deprive yourself of the things you want to eat. That's the takeaway. If I want to eat a salad, I'm going to eat a salad. Yeah, I'd eat what I want, but <laughs> not the way you do. <laughs> like, I, I had that mac and cheese from Dave's Hot Chicken. I was like, yeah, I'm going to have that mac and cheese, but I'm also going to eat, like, not Red 40 on the side with it. My Red 40 stare. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah guys it's been getting out of control i eat like three meals at once at night in my bed it is a vibe though because i get a late night snack out of it mm -hmm. so i get to have my dinner at a normal human time of like 7 p.m and then around 1 p.m i can just walk into drew's buffet and it's like the nastiest things i've ever seen and i get to have a bite of everything, of everything. so i get to have all your evil food <laughs> evil evil food <laughs> for my late night snack which is actually kind of a vibe like literally thank you for that actually this is probably a problematic take but i miss bon appetit brad and clara or claire so fucking much oh yeah i miss that I era miss of like them. life because it also was like a vibe and also life. like it was so fun shipping them even though they probably hated each other and like i stumbled <laughs> upon like brad's tiktok recently and he's still fucking weird and doing weird shit and i love him and he's sexy hot and then i stumbled upon claire um and she's making tiktoks now and she's sexy hot and it's just like literally such a vibe like i love them and she's so matron matronly how do you say that matronly i think so um is that how you say that kai honestly i don't know but it sounds right um and i just want her to hold me Mama. And she makes like these like browned butter sugar cookies with chocolate. Like, I wish I had the lust for life that people who cook really good meals for them do. Because I really make myself meals to survive. We made jacket potatoes. That's true. That's what was cracking me up is to Drew. I was saying how we haven't cooked. We haven't made a meal in this house that 
needs heat. What I fucking eat, I can't even make fun of what you eat because what I eat <laughs> is fucking crazy. You eat ingredients. Yeah, I eat ingredients because no, 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 I like don't deconstructed. Have... It's deconstructed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like Michelin star vibe, like mm. deconstruction. It's cottage cheese and heart of palms. That bitch was onto something. The lady on TikTok who's with eating mustard. heart of palm with mustard and cottage cheese. That shit is fucking yummy. And I got the stuff to make it today. So I'm gonna today. I'm gonna have a tuna sandwich. Yeah, and. Heart of palm with mustard and car- cottage cheese. You know what I'm going to do is so. I'm going to have tuna and Ritz. Mm. And then I'm going to get some cottage cheese. And I'm going to scoop out half of an avocado one bite at a time. And then put the cottage cheese in the bite and eat it all at once. And y'all, I swear to God, it'll change your life. It'll change your life. Um. Well, the birds are back to chirping. And I think it's going to be okay. I think it's all going to be okay. Like you it's back, yeah. Because when like Just winter wait starts to end, and the birds are back to chirping outside my window, I do feel a little spark again. Mm. And I heard it yesterday. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, guys, you I'm were on a good one okay. yesterday. I'm literally gonna be okay. I see, because I had to, I had to show up for my bay. No, you were actually feeling good. You were happy. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Let's say it that way. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was so happy. <laughs> I was so happy. Just wait. I'm so till- happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> Just wait till the hummingbirds come back and they're flying around our living room window. <laughs> Dude, I feel like we have to insert it. There's this TikTok of Josie and I either feel like that picture. <laughs> or I feel like the character running through a Silent Hill map. Those are my two variations of mental states right now. And I'm to the point that usually talking about my mental state will make me burst into tears. But I actually feel nothing. Oh, my God. Wow. Mm. Makes you think I feel nothing. (laughs) You're like, I literally it is actually so funny where my mental state has been. But I'm just hoping and praying that it goes away soon. Or I start taking an SSRI and I never have to feel this again. Yeah. And that's my vibe right now because being 25, post five years of therapy and still feeling like this, something's not adding up. Something is not adding up. But yeah, that's my that's my mental update. I feel like I give like a yearly around this time a, a mental update. And just so you know, I'm right back to where I started. Yeah. I did I did the circle and I'm right back to the starting point. But it's okay because I just get high as fuck and I play Fortnite and I act like I don't exist. And then it's fun. It's fun. Or if we do stuff like yesterday when I just distract myself all day. But then at night, Drew fell asleep way too early and I was alone with my thoughts for like four hours. And I felt fucking insane. I was so down bad. I played a U2 song on Fortnite Festival to distract myself. Mm. That's how down bad I am. Because I've played the Lady Gaga and the Olivia Rodrigo songs too many times and I don't want to play fucking a Nelly song. Why is that in the Fortnite like festival? Like it kind of makes no sense. I don't want to play a Nelly song. I don't, I'm so sorry. I don't give a fuck about Blink-182. Like, ooh, kill me. I don't want to play that. I want fun girl songs. Like where's all the girl songs? Um, So I played a U2 song and I just sat in silence alone in the living room playing a U2 song on Fortnite Festival. And I felt like my head was going to explode. But then Drew woke up and told me about his dream. And then I got up and I was like, I need to go to bed because this is not helping me right now. (laughs) And yeah. Sending you to the dark place. Right. Right. Well, I am just so incredibly happy and just so happy. (laughs) I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. No, everything she said, I'm feeling. So we're just like this bubble. It's about. Pati- we just potentiate each other every single night, and it's actually a really dangerous environment to be in. Um, so I've decided I'm not going to feed into it anymore, and you can't feed into mine anymore. Okay, right. And that's the tea. That's the real tea. And I've been uh, electrocuting my brain. Yeah, I, I was going to bring it up, but I was like, I'm going to let Kai talk about that because that is not yeah, my tea. You know what's crazy is, um, so I've been doing TMS, which is like. When girls have periods and they're like no, really girl, angry. No, it's not the same as that. It, that's PMS. Oh. Not me educating you. Um, so 
I, I basically be doing this thing where you like you electrocute like a part of your brain, literally, and it's supposed to stimulate it. And it's a vibe. I've heard of it. Yeah, it's there's a lot of research. It's supposed to work. We'll fucking see. Because every time I'm in that chair, I feel like I'm in Clockwork Orange, <laughs> and my fucking memory your is being eyes, erased. Your eyes are like pulled. Up. Yeah, but the first, uh, I went in for like the first one, and the person that was like helping me with it was like, uh, "What do you do for work?" And I was like, "Oh, I like." produce this podcast and he was like oh emergency intercom oh. and then he like pulled the switch and was like, oh. <laughs> I was like and i was like getting electrocuted and it's not like i'm like kind of like joking when i say it's like you're getting electrocuted but you yeah are. no you, you are you like you literally are burning flesh it, it's like your your brain is touching like a like yeah. a dangerous socket and <laughs> are you telling me your doctor that's electrocuting your brain yeah. listens to this podcast well the person that sent me up yeah i haven't been paired with him again but <laughs> that's so yeah. gag worthy but i was like st you're literally strapped into a chair like tied into it basically because <laughs> they don't need to move because if you go too far to the right then you like your brain Actually turns die. off yeah um i've seen videos of it it's yeah. like pretty intense like they're like it was just the craziest jerking. situation because i they have roku on and then it's just like drone footage of like farmland <laughs> and he was like cool like how long have you guys been like doing that like i, I just started listening recently and i was like oh getting God. electrocuted damn he wasn't even listening like in the he's not even og bro, i think like... he's like been a fan for like a couple months but okay, then well, we give him get the right with to keep your shit. Yeah. yeah. But he was really sweet and it was actually kind of fun talking to him while I got like an electric current pulsating through my Yeah, I guess that's a better cortex. situation is having like a semi-normal conversation with somebody rather than like a sterile ass doctor just being like, you ready? Yeah. Okay, again. Yeah, but they've been upping the power every single day. And it's to the point where like my face twitches oh, every yeah. time. <laughs> it's daily, y'all. He's gone. He has like three more weeks of daily yeah. brain zaps. Do you feel like it's helping? I'm going to be honest. I, I have felt better. You the have. The last couple of weeks. You, like, I feel like you can pick up on it a little bit. Right? Yeah, I was going to say you've like, yeah. every time we've like had our hour long phone calls, me and Kai talk <laughs> on the phone. I have a screenshot. We talk on the phone for like an hour almost yeah. every night. It's a vibe. Uh -huh. Um. But yeah, I just like keep mental notes and you're you I've been feeling better. better. It's yeah. been like the first time in like nine months. But with all of this shit, I'm like, I, I'm not gonna say it's a success until it's like six months yeah. deep. Yeah. But but yeah, it's been it's been good. And I think it's a really funny thing to do. Yeah. Which is the most important It's a bit. Part. It's a bit. Yeah. I feel like I'm like literally a cartoon character. Dude, I've been doing this thing called masturbation. <laughs> Um, have y'all heard of that? Um, yeah, we, yeah. Yes. Um, that's not like a, I don't, I, don't, I actually think that might be, if you do it too much, I actually think that might be bad for you. No. Oh. Are you proving the statistics wrong? You're like, I just did it. I just did it just now. <laughs> like, literally just now. You know, they're like, thing where like uh samurais that are really good will like barely <laughs> yeah, open like the a, sword it's fucking flat that's you but with your yeah. with your wiener <laughs> ew ew y'all are fucking nasty boots um th have i ever told the twin experiment in college yes yeah i've talked about that on the podcast yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> no i didn't i swear you have what is it why do you think we're lying what is it if I've talked about it? <laughs> it's it's like they tried to take like you and Madeline or you thought they took you and Madeline for uh like a like a study or some shit. You've talked about like a twin experience. On here. Yes. <laughs> I've heard the story multiple times. Um, okay, well they are gentrifying the pyramids and it's bullshit. <laughs> I swear to God, they are. They literally are gentrifying <clears throat> the pyramids. Like they're going in there. And they're adding fucked up fake plaster rocks to like rebuild to what they looked like instead of leaving them in the ruined state they are in now. And it's really... Well, we'll know it's a wrap when they have a tripod with the ring light and the iPad between it. No, they <laughs> already do have that. Like, it's crazy. They have like photo areas. Like, they added a blue bottle to the middle of it. Yeah, yeah. There's a blue bottle I can't even in lie. That would the be chamber. <laughs> like, if I was out there in the middle of nowhere, I'd be like, fuck, I want a coffee so bad. And then I'd see it and I'd be the first person in line. Yeah, we got to get out of there though. Like literally, we got to get out of those tombs. Yeah, because it's like a sacred fucking place. Exactly. Like people got to leave. But I want to go. I want to go so bad. I want to feel the echo chamber. There's like a vibration room like inside of there where like one of the bodies was buried. Were buried, and um, the frequency that reverberates out the walls is like in like whatever. 
whatever. It's cool. It's fucking lit. I want to go inside the pyramids. Um, and me and Madeline and Stephen were planning a trip, but oh then, yeah, right before COVID. Yeah, but then they were like, "You can't go." So fuck I don't me, know if right? there's any landmark I've ever been like, "I need to go there." There's like, I don't think I have a single one. Oh, like I don't. I can't even think of a landmark. What's that big ass thing that's like flat? Drew's penis. Why would it okay. be flat? I was trying to get it in before you said <laughs> flat. Drew's ass there. It's big Wait, and flat. Wait, but what? A big flat one? Uh, it's where the aliens like touch down and it's in the United States, it's like this huge plateau. Mm. Oh, no, no, no. Is it? It's like called Devil's Plateau or something. I don't know. Actually. I don't know about that. Raised. I think it's that like is it sacred land? Um I Devil's Tower. I think some dude parachuted out of a plane and landed on that but didn't have a way to get down so like This plane... shit. This is insane. Yeah, yeah, some dude jumped out of an airplane, landed on it in like the 30s and then didn't have a way to get fucking down so he was just trapped up there for like a week and a half that's a became, mr beast video literally it became like national news and like they had to send like supply drops with like uh propeller airplanes and they would just drop like food and shelter for him every day um and then eventually like five rock climbers like climbed up and then climbed him down um isn't that tea I'm just thinking about how there's nowhere I want to visit and it's freaking me out. But really, I've just decided I don't really give a fuck about... You don't want to go to Iceland and see the volcanoes in the silver suits? Yeah, but that's different because that, that that's not like a historical... Like, it's not one of the seven wonders of the world, necessarily. Oh. I just want to see it because I saw a movie about lavas and volcanoes and I know it'll be pretty. It and I want to do that God. kind of stuff. But I want to, like, get into, like, all I really give a fuck about when I travel is if I could go somewhere and get into a body of water, that's what I want. And if they have a Dover Street Market <laughs> with the rare Dover Street Market clothing. <laughs> no, I, like, literally have decided I don't like to travel for cities. What like, you got to do is you got to get high and then watch a documentary on the pyramids. And then it'll be the only thing you can think about for six months. It just sounds like it'll, like, that um, environment will fuck up my eczema. That's all I can think about when I look at the desert. Like oh watching Dune, God. I was like, dude, this would destroy me. Like it would feel like my skin <laughs> was being ripped off. Maybe you have the suit that recycles your pants. Yeah. That's so gross. No, I'm entering my architect arc soon, y'all. I think I'm going to start building little houses in the middle of the wood and or in the woods. In the middle of the wood. <laughs> I'm going to like go to Home Depot and buy like plywood and shit and just build like houses. <laughs> I'm imagining you like getting like nails and building something and it falling over and you go like freaking out the way you do and something fucked up and you're like fuck fuck oh my god fuck and, like, <laughs> fucking kill myself oh my god oh my god oh my god um no no if i'm out alone i can't yell because i'm not yelling towards anybody Ooh, i ate again i ate again I think you might still yell i would yell not me i'm different you don't talk to yourself at all yeah, I do. <laughs> I do a lot. I'm fucking crazy, y'all. I'm fucking crazy. I'm so fucking crazy. Um, All right, well. Okay, well, let's get into some media. Um, we watched Dune 2. We did a back-to-back -back double feature. We oh, yeah, watched that's Dune 1 here at the crib. It was three hours. And then we went to the theater and watched Dune 2 for three hours. Um, Dune 2 is fucking awesome uh duh everyone says it's awesome it is awesome it was like there were some comparisons made before where i was like girls like what the fuck are you talking about like people were saying it was like better than the godfather and shit like one why are you comparing those two movies to like it's literally not so like don't say that but <laughs> um it was good as fuck and it is something you should go watch point blank period yeah that was the thing that drew that was drew's birthday wish for us all to do is to see dune one and two. actually no i literally just forgot it was my birthday when i bought the tickets and it was my birthday we're rolling into my birthday as we got in there yeah. and then everyone was like oh it's your birthday like i'll come and join yeah that's like, why okay. i did it is because i was like i know because now that i've pointed it out that it rolls into because i pointed it out and i was like i don't really want to go but i guess it's kind of like your birthday wish and you were like oh <laughs> yeah i guess it is i guess you have to do it unless you don't fucking give a fuck about me yeah. like and he said it to me and josie because me and josie were like we're not doing that we don't want to um but me and josie sat next to each other during it but when we were here 
I was like, I feel like if I got high, I would tap in. Like, I just know I would because watching across the Spider-Verse in that state literally had me thinking that I made the movie. Like, it, it was the craziest feeling I've ever felt. I was like, oh, my God, it was so gorgeous being a part of this movie. That's what it made me <laughs> feel like. And then watching Dune 1, I got so tapped in in a way that I, I genuinely don't believe I would have sober because I'm such a bitch about sci-fi and I don't really care for sci-fi because I grew up in a household with a parent who really liked Star Wars. So I grew up watching those movies all the time and they would piss me off and I would always take a nap and be like, wake me up when this shit's over. Like, I don't want to fucking watch this shit again. So I don't like sci-fi because of that. And I was so tapped in and me and Josie sat next to each other for the second one. And we sat next to a man who did not fuck with our vibe. Like we are respectful. We did not talk during the movie, but during the fucking ads and like the random trailers, we were making jokes to each other about it. And he wouldn't look at us, but he was doing this the whole time, like, <laughs> like <laughs> just staring at us. And we were like, Ew, oh, my God. Ooh. And he, like, didn't, like, they were sitting behind us. So I would get up to go get snacks from them and come back down. And when I would be coming back down, I would literally just watch him, like, stare at me into my seat. And, like, he didn't want to turn his head to us. But we knew he was so unhappy to be sitting next to us. Were also, being I'm the annoying? only no during the movie. I literally said to Josie, I was like, okay, during the movie, we're not going to talk because this man's actually going to stab us. Yeah. Like, don't fucking speak to me. Me and Josie did not utter a single fucking word to each other during that movie because he gave me the aura that he was actually going to like stab me. A mass stabbing was going to happen to me and Josie if we even breathed too hard during that movie. So we didn't speak during the movie. Also, there was one point where I was falling asleep because I don't think any human should watch six hours of Doom. Also, I cheat coded that shit because y'all hoes waited four fucking years to see the second one. Bitch, I got to binge it like it was Love is Blind. Like, mm -hmm. I just saw the whole thing in one night. Um, it was lit, and I was the only one who clapped after. <laughs> Dude, it was so funny. Me, Josh, and um, Lucas and Christian were, like, dying laughing because Inya, like, clapped and went, woo! And <laughs> It was, <laughs> it was silent like it was so silent like y'all aren't vibing the way i was and i had a really good time and it was freaking awesome and then i came home and i knocked out and that's my story it was a vibe it was a vibe it was the best birthday i've ever had in my life um okay well then my music media is i made a new playlist on spotify um and it's called i want to like music again so so bad Please let me enjoy music. This is out of control. Um, and it's because I don't like music right now. Hence, my media has been so fucking boring. Um, go listen to that playlist if you want to hear what I'm trying to like right now. And it's mainly just all Inya and Orion's music um, that they've put on in my vicinity. Um, and that's my media. My media is Nothing Stays the Same by Elastica, Claire de Lune Number 3 by Claude Debussy. Bussy. <laughs> Wondering Who by The Jacksons. And It Only Happens Delegation. Oh, and Roll On Babe, Ronnie Lane. And spray on Bitches. <laughs> My spray favorite bitches song is Spray on her. Bitches. Um, okay. Drew Sigh Up Corner. Okay. Drew Sigh Up Corner. Um, y'all bitches want to try fentanyl. Try fentanyl this dick in your mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Folklore evermore canker sore. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Where's the liquor store? <laughs> <laughs> um. This girl just put one dollar on pump two. Where the fuck she going? Pump three. <laughs> Man. Oh wow. These oh, are all wow. screenshots from my email. So y'all gotta get better. Do better, y'all. Um, okay. Let's see. I literally can't wait to eat a tuna sandwich right now. That's what's keeping me going. Period. <laughs> this one's so stupid. Got a meatloaf flavored vape from Goodwill and now my arms won't bend. <laughs> Eric Ivan Wolf. Um, okay, well, that sucked. Oh my God. I'm done with y'all. Send me good shit next time. How about that?
Okay, motherfuckers. Oh my god, you're so evil. Well, that was it for the episode. Sorry if we bummed you out. We? <laughs> you said you agreed with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a we thing. We, we, we. Um, I hope everybody... I feel like everybody's in a bit of a slump right now. So Yeah, love you. We will all prevail and maybe... You hear the birds? The birds, yeah. Maybe the birds will save me. <laughs> like, it's not that down bad. I'm like, the birds are the same. The, birds. the, the birds. bird is the, the word, birds. y'all. The bird is literally the word. Um, all right. Thank you guys for watching. Peace and uh, love. The good news is the new Fortnite season comes out like oh, this week. Oh, when is that? Is it this week? It might be today. Really? Yeah, it's this week. So let's go. Big things coming. Big things coming. I'm gonna I've... get drunk alone and play for <laughs> hours. Dude, I like can't play Fortnite not sober because I suck so bad. But I've been sucking really bad because it's to the point of the season where all the fucking like crazy motherfuckers are playing. Yeah, and it's just only Me. the people, only the streamers. Yeah, and like bitches like you are playing right now. Thank you. So I'm just getting murked. Also, we got stream sniped. Oh yeah, really? I was playing on stream and somebody stream sniped us. Like. And I didn't notice until somebody posted a compilation of how many times me and Drew got killed in a game we were it's playing. Crazy. And the same person killed me twice. Oh, behavior. So you're evil. Fucking okay. loser. Also, also, guys, I know I've been making all these jokes about drinking alone. They're not jokes. Oh my I'm God. getting fucked up every night. Dude. No, they're jokes. They're jokes. I have, I'll have like five beers. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. <laughs> Someone all right. said I was pushing 50. <laughs> <laughs> I am. You are not pushing 50. I am. You're barely pushing 30. But uh, no, if you think about it, Push. 25 is halfway to 50. Anything over 25 is pushing fucking 50. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm pushing fucking 50, y'all. Um, Well, I'm pushing P, so. Penis and <laughs> penis. Okay. Penis and vagina. We're all going to make it through this, guys. We will listen to the birds. All right, bye. <laughs>